Good afternoon, it's Sunday the 21st of August and I'm back down in Belfast City Centre and I'm standing in front of the City Hall which is behind me with Queen Victoria looking austerely down at us. Now if you are new... And if you have never been in Belfast and uh, you're looking for directions or anything like that, the, the first place I would recommend that you come to is the Welcome Centre just over here in front of City Hall. And why do you come there? Well, you get a lot of free documents, information and directions and we leaflets and such like and um, this place is not to be missed. Belfast uh, <laughs> voted recently uh, the top 10 party and stag destination in the UK. That's a, a quite a, a dubious uh, reputation to have. So this is Belfast Welcome Centre This is our information and if you want to know anything about Belfast this is the place to come to and it is packed full of people getting their free information but I'm heading over to uh, Belfast City Hall because that is where I would come to if I wanted to find out anything about Belfast. And there's a lot of tours and whatnot that run out of Belfast. And there's, many of the tours are actually uh, are run out of uh, Belfast City Hall. Many of the tours are actually free. If you don't have to pay for something, why should you? So, get yourself in here to Belfast City Hall and learn all about the history and the, the geography and the people and, and the Second World War involvement and the Americans coming to Belfast and in the Second World War. And this is the place to come to. And I'm just going to go in now. But there's a lot of history about Belfast, um, you know, can be found in, in these statues and plaques and, and whatnot that are dotted around uh, the City Hall as well. And round to the left here, there's more. I mean, did you know that Belfast, or World War II, the only, um, the only uh, recipient of the uh, Victoria Cross, there was only one, and that was uh, Joseph McGuinness. And here's a memorial to him. He was a submariner, and he was a a Catholic and whenever he got home from serving in the uh, British Navy the Catholic community rejected him because he'd worn the British uh, sailor's uniform and the Protestant community rejected him because he was a Catholic and yet he was a hero so uh, I think that has been put right James Joseph McGuinness. Um, there's a big memorial, uh, uh, big memorial uh, mural up to him in uh, one of the uh, Loyalist Estates. That's uh, Tully Carnot. And just round the corner, round here, is a memorial to those who died on the Titanic. I'll list all the names 
That's just round the corner there. So there's lots to see even uh, before you get into Belfast City Hall. Um, it's one of the top tourist attractions in the whole of the city. And so many people come to Belfast and you know don't stop by. Now admittedly it's not really for children. You know, it's gonna be more for adults. But uh, I would encourage anybody to come to Belfast City Hall and see the marvellous exhibition. Well, I've walked right through to the front of the City Hall and uh, this is the place to see. It's free so, and it's one of the best uh, visitor attractions. Um, that Belfast has. And if you like architecture and if you like sculptures and if you like painting and you like decorative and you like history, this is the place to come to Belfast City Hall. And if you like grub as well, uh, the Bobbins Coffee Shop is, is excellent. And weddings go on here. City Hall was built in 1906. And uh, you can get tours of the City Hall, and I believe they're free. And this place is fabulous. And it, it would be a great place to, to have a wedding as well. As long as you have a, a minister present. It's, it's a fabulous building. And it's all free. Free, free, free. And uh, Belfast City Hall uh, suffered bombing damage and quite an extensive bombing damage in the Second World War. And not only have you got the, the Belfast City Hall building, and the stained glass windows that decorate it. But you've, you've also got a, a, a 16 room exhibition going on, which closes at four o'clock and it's about half three now, so I'd better scoot on here. Stained, stained glass windows are absolutely fabulous. There's the famine window. And if you're coming to Belfast, this is a must-see because it encapsulates everything about Belfast. You know, the history, the geography, the, the people, the, the, the farming practices and everything else are all summed up in this uh, exhibition here in Belfast City Hall. <laughs> 